Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, May 21st, 2025. How are you feeling? I feel fantastic. My second study was just accepted. It has its own DOI, it's in the description, if you wish to check it out. The only problem, it takes up to 24 hours for the DOI to be registered, so you might not be able to get it right away, maybe tomorrow, or in the next few hours, I'm not sure, but I'm leaving the DOI in the description. It will be active maybe in a couple of hours, but no more than 24 hours. It's called Retaking Aging, a system-based model of neuromuscular decline. So I will give you a brief breakdown if you decide to read it. It's about 32 pages long, but the last four or five pages, other things I had to add to it. So it's a quick read, but take your time with it if you decide to read it. But let me just give you an example of what, what I'm talking about. You know, there are studies where they study master athletes and they found out that these master athletes lose motor units just like a couch potato and they don't know why they just say it's part of the aging process but it's not part of the aging process another study the first study was in piaseki 2019 another study called from power at all from 2012. what he did was he investigated these master athletes and he found that only the motor units in the muscles that they trained all their lives were maintained. The rest of the body aged just like a sedentary person. So this is what I came up with this because I've been doing this my whole life inadvertently without knowing this. I, I said it many times on my channel, you have to train your body from head to toe with explosiveness. Why do I say this? Let me explain. Please bear with me here. In this study, I introduced the network degradation model. Let me explain what I mean by this. For example, let's say you have a blood clot. The circulatory system is a closed loop system. In other words, if one little thing happens somewhere in your body, like a blockage in one of your arteries, it might take a week, it might take a month, it might take a year, but eventually it affects the entire circulatory system. That blood clot will give you a heart attack. Well, who knows? It will do some damage to you later on, but it will, it can kill you. So I use the same principle with the somatic motor unit system. Let me explain. We have what's called common drive. For example, let's say I run and I jump on a, on a four foot platform and I land smoothly. How did that happen? Your brain had to activate many motor units at once from different parts of your body. And all of them had to work in tandem. Perfect. So you land just right so you don't hurt yourself, the timing, the proprioception, everything. So it's called common drive, which activates a lot of your motor units and its muscle fibers at the same time. Now, this is what I'm trying to say. Let's say for some reason your entire life, you don't train your hands, the muscles in your hands, the muscles in your feet, your shoulders, or maybe your pelvis area, or your neck stabilizer, something. You lose the motor units in there as you age. Most people don't train the small areas. They just, what do they do? They jog, they sprint, uh, they, they do bench press, push-ups, pull-ups. They don't train their entire body. This is what the problem is. The same thing with the blood clot that ruined the entire circulatory system. The loss of motor units in parts of your body that you don't train, it takes a little longer because loss of motor units is gradual. It takes decades. You don't notice this as the years go on. But suddenly you hit 60, you hit 70, you can't turn your neck. You can't jump with agility. You know, you lose flexibility. That is because the areas where you had the fast motor units messed up the, the common drive signal that goes throughout your whole body. The same thing the blood clot did to your circulatory system. The lost motor units spread, messed up, degraded your entire motor unit system. It's called the somatic uh, system. Okay, I just wanted to give you a brief synopsis. So in case you want to read the study, this is very big deal. Because let me explain why. Because even sprinters, I don't care, power lifters, they have fast twitch fibers. When they get to 75, 80, they move like turtles. They still get frail. They get on medication. I don't, 
You say, well, athletes die just as soon as the other people. They get just as frail. So, so exercise doesn't mean anything. This is what they all say. No. And I said it many times on my channel. I don't exercise. I train my neuromuscular system, the entire system. That's the only way you can move youthful. Everything has to work in tandem. One little part messed up ruins the whole system. That's why people lose torque. They lose the zigzagging. They, they just don't know what happened. They were doing it 20 years ago. Suddenly, their body just won't do it. That's because the lost area spread through the rest of your body like the blood clot reached your heart. And this something to you. I'm just giving you a quick synopsis. You're welcome to read the study. Have a wonderful day. See you soon in my next video.